So we are working to uh, simplify this division. I have this divided by that and these rational expressions. And the thing to remember is when you divide by a fraction, that's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So um, essentially, I'm flipping this fraction, taking its reciprocal. So if I turn it upside down, 5x squared minus 20x is now the numerator, and the denominator is now uh, 5x squared plus 25x. That changes this to multiplication. And then this just stays what it was. So now what I'm going to do is factor everything and see what cancels out. So go to factor this numerator here. Things that multiply to 15 add to 8. 1 into 15, 3 and 5. There it is. 3 plus 5 is 8. So this will factor to um, x plus 3 times x plus 5. This one down here in the denominator, things that multiply to 2 but add to 3, 1 and 2. So... Uh, x plus 3 times x plus 2. That shouldn't be a 3. That was my mistake. Oop. It should be x plus 1 times x plus 2. Multiplied by, so it's just all one big fraction. Uh, in this one, 5x goes into both of these. So notice I could take out a 5x. And if I do that, what's left is a single x. x times x is x squared minus 4. So this simplifies, uh, reduces, I mean, factors to 5x times x minus 4. Down here, it looks like I could take out a 5x again, 5x and 25x. So 5x, that leaves me an x here and a 5 here. So 5x times x plus 5. And now I'm going to start doing some division. 5 divided by 5 is 1. x divided by x is 1. x minus 4 doesn't cancel with anything, so that one is going to stay. But x plus 5 cancels with x plus 5. So if I look at what's left, what's left is a x plus 3 and an x minus 4. And that is all over x plus 1 times x plus 2. And let me think about my limitations on this one. Uh, limitations on division are a little bit funny because I can't, this can't be a zero. We know that can't divide by zero. This can't be a zero, can't divide by zero. But this also can't be a zero because we're dividing by this whole thing. So I have to make sure I don't get zeros from any of these places. So zeros from here would be negative one and negative two. Zeros from here would be zero and four. Zeros from here are zero and negative five. I already have the zero. So there's all my limitations. So here is my answer.